Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today it's time for another YouTube hop and we have a wonderful group of artists that share some mixed media inspirations and of course we have fabulous sponsors. You can win amazing prizes. You will find all the rules in the description box and also over on my blog. I'm working in the Dino Weekly Media Journal today and I have primed my page with gesso because um, the watercolor paper in this journal is really, um, it really soaks up the water and the paints and you can't even play without adding gesso first. I'm starting with acrylic paints and I use different ways to apply the paint to my page. I'm blending the acrylic paint with a dry brush.
I enjoy playing with the acrylic paints and I like to add more layers to create more dimension and interest. I will dry my whole background and then go in with some stenciling. I'm using a stencil from Stencil Girl. I try not to overload my sponge, it's a makeup sponge, because when you have too much paint on it, it will bleed under your stencil. I've dried the stenciling with my heat tool and then go in with more acrylic paints. This time I'm just using my fingers to apply the paint. When the background is completely dry, I go in with some stamping. I'm using the Public Bathing text stamp. It comes with the Take a Plunk stamp set from Rubber Dance. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am the owner of Rubber Dance. And of course we are also a sponsor for this hop, so you might have the chance to win them some stamps. And I'm also giving away a grab bag of stamps from our store direct in my channel. So if you leave a comment here on my video, you have an extra chance to win. I use more stamps to create interest on my background. I'm working with the Stays On inks because I'm working on acrylic paints and Stays On is the best ink for non-porous surfaces. What I always enjoy doing is adding white splatters to my pages. That's just because it blends the background a little bit more and adds more dimension and, and vibrancy. I use Liquitex acrylic ink to create the splatters, but you can also use thinned down acrylic paint or gesso. In my next step, I will also add some blue splatters and therefore I'm using blue acrylic paint and thin it down with water.
While my background is drying completely, I'm working on my main images. I'm using stamps from the Rubber Dance Textured Sea Creatures. I've stamped them to watercolor paper and now I'm going in with Inktense pencils. When the Inktense pencils are completely dry, I use normal colored pencils and add extra shadings to the images. This creates also more depth and interest and lets them look more vibrant. I've cut out all my stamped images, but before I glue them to my page, I like to create some extra pieces to create also more interest. I'm using that uh, chunky leftover paint paper that I've used to clean my fingers and also my brushes. 
Uh, now I'm cutting out a circle and I will see how I can arrange it beautiful to my page. I decided that it looks too naked, so I'm adding some more stamping to my circle. I'm using the Rubber Dance Doodle Borders. Every supplies will be also listed in the description box. When I'm sure where I want my pieces to be, I glue everything down. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to jump over to the next person in the hop and also don't forget to leave a comment under this video. If you haven't already, I would be really happy if you would subscribe to my channel. I hope we see us next time for a new artsy video. Bye!